Hi and welcome to my second video about genes and how they're organised within the cell. So last time we finished by looking at the smallest subunit of um, genetic material which is DNA and how loads of pieces of DNA put together form a gene. So a gene is a section of DNA that controls a particular characteristic, something like eye colour or hair colour. Now on this section here um, you have um, two genes that have been labelled. Now in reality a gene is going to be much much larger than this so on average this seems to show that we have roughly um, between 12 to 15 nucleotide bases that make up a gene. In reality a gene is usually made up of thousands of nucleotide bases. This structure you see on in the middle here is what's known as a chromosome and specifically this is a pair of chromosomes joined together and so you'll notice it has basically two sections and it's joined around this middle part here. So these different bandings that you get here, these represent different genes and so on a given chromosome you can have several thousand uh, genes. In fact in total you, in the human genome we have roughly 23,000 genes. So this section of DNA, basically what happens to it is it's coiled up and it forms this shape in the chromosome. And so you could, if we could magnify on these sections here, then what we'd see is a lot of the double helixes, a lot of the pieces of DNA tend to be folded in on, one, on itself and therefore they form these different structures known as chromosomes. There is such variety in the human population that obviously not all genes are the same and these genes can come in various different types or a different version of a gene which is sometimes referred to as an allele. Um, generally speaking you have two alleles that represent a single gene and we'll come on to look at the relationship between these alleles in a later video. So inside a given nucleus, inside a given cell you have 23 pairs of these chromosomes. The reason why these chromosomes are referred to as 23 pairs and not 46 is, as you can see here, these are the 23 chromosomes that you would possess and each one of them comes in a pair. So 23 times 2 is 46 and you receive each um, chromosome from a single parent. So for example, um, this one may have come from your mum and the other one will have come from your dad. Now the only one that's an exception to this is the 23rd chromosome, which is the sex chromosome. And you'll see down here it comes in the form X or Y. Now essentially on the 23rd chromosome, what you'll have is if you're a female, you'll have XX. And if you're a male, you'll have XY. So this diagram shows a typical cell um, with a typical nucleus that contains 23 pairs or 46 chromosomes of which you have roughly between 23,000 to 24,000 genes and roughly 3 billion pieces of DNA. Okay, so in summary, um, you have genes which code for a characteristic. Again, this might be something like eye colour or hair colour. Different versions of a gene are referred to as an allele. You usually have two alleles per gene. Um, the DNA will fold in on itself and compact itself into these shapes called chromosomes of which you have 23 pairs of those that's sometimes referred to 46. Um, this is true for every cell in your body with the exception of sex cells and red blood cells.